all right guys so it's pretty crazy if you've seen the videos on this car that i was when i was replacing the trailing arm so the owner actually drove like probably like 100 miles to my place uh to fix this car and do repairs to it and what's funny is that and kind of crazy is the there was there's literally like no brake pedal so i drove this thing around and literally like the brake pedal goes all the way to the floor and he told me that he replaced the master cylinder but i guess he didn't finish bleeding it so i'm gonna show you how to bleed the master cylinder today and going back to the story yeah, it's pretty crazy guys all right guys welcome back to my channel this is a really important video that I wanted to make for a long time uh, it's about the remanufactured parts and how annoying they are and how bad they are and how much I dislike them. So this is a 1981 Mercedes 280E W123 chassis that came to me. Um, the owner brought it to me like he lives a hundred miles away. So the crazy thing is that he drove this car with literally like no brake pedal. Uh, that thing like the brake pedal went it used to go all the way down to the floor and it would have just a little bit of pressure so the brake pedal was like when i got the car the brake pedal was like going all the way down, down to the floor and you were if you were driving and you were trying to like press all uh, you know on the brake pedal it would go all the way to the floor and it would barely like even try to stop so and i asked the owner how did, was he driving and like this you know 100 miles he was like oh you know i was using the parking brake which is actually pretty cool because the you know the parking brake actually works on this car but still you know it's not always the best idea to do that um, but anyways today's subject it was about the remanufactured parts so guess what I noticed and what I diagnosed so I went to check the master cylinder right it's usually like you know when there's no brakes you check for leaks and stuff and there was actually no leaks I didn't see any leaks and then I came to this and I tried to actually bleed it uh, when it was installed and I was not able to bleed it but you know I can you can actually you're able you know to bleed the master cylinder when it's still on the car you don't necessarily need to bench bleed it um, so I tried that and the funny thing is that it was literally like uh, a fresh remanufactured uh, master cylinder and the problem is that uh, the fluid wasn't coming out from anywhere except this port so the other two ports the fluid would not come out and I had the helper inside helping me pump the brakes and stuff but nothing would come out uh, except uh, this port this port was okay but these two there was nothing coming out and I was not able to bleed it okay all right guys uh, it's a really beautiful interior on this car actually and I believe the mileage is uh, re uh, original 182,000 miles I mean the condition is pretty immaculate so anyways let me show you the brake pedal okay so when I press the brake pedal it literally just goes all the way to the floor all right so, so we're gonna worry about that so we're gonna go ahead and uh, bleed the brakes and I have the brake fluid as well If you're new to my channel welcome to my channel my name is Vito and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel uh, I post a lot of cool videos about cars uh, it doesn't have to be Mercedes there's other videos that I have as well so just check out my playlist my channel and just enjoy my videos all right so I have a help inside and I topped off the brake fluid so it's at the top right now and when I grab 11 millimeter wrench uh, I'm gonna go ahead and crack these open um, I'm gonna do it one by one. Okay. All right. So as you remember, we're gonna go all the way to the floor and hold. Okay. When I tell you. All right. Go all the way to the floor and hold. All right. We have some brake fluid coming out. Tighten it. All right. Uh, pump the brakes. Release. 
super loose. I didn't feel any. Pressure. Oh yeah, I mean they're like that. They wear like that. Uh, all the way to the floor and hold. Okay, pump it. I release. I'm gonna crack this open now. All right, all the way to the floor and hold. Okay. Press all the way, hold. All right, there's some air. Now I'm gonna close these back up again. Bump it. Is it any better? Feels like yeah. It's just probably a lot of uh, air in there. So yeah, release the brakes. Release. Yep. All right. Do the same thing again. Open all three of these. And we're going to tell them. All right. Hold, press all the way to the floor and hold. All right, yeah, there was, I heard some hissing, some air came out. That's a good sign. All right, pump. Um, so long story short, uh, just decided to go ahead and replace it and I had actually a good uh, original uh, in stock uh, it was actually a used unit but it was from a low mileage car pretty much so I installed that because I had it you know I asked the owner if he wanted it so we did install it uh, he approved that um, so I did install it uh, fresh fluid and everything bench bladed installed it and everything um, and right now the brake pedal is immaculate it's actually really firm it's actually look at this beautiful interior right it's actually this car has the original 182,000 miles uh, on the clock all right so let's check the brakes out i already drove it around but look how firm it is all right before that it used to go all the way to the floor and it would barely stop it was actually scary to drive that thing and ever since i replaced that trailing arm <laughs> Uh, I really needed to test drive it, but the brakes, uh, they, there was no brakes, so I, I had to be really careful while driving this car. But everything is fine. Right now, everything is good. Um, but let me show you um, the problem with this remanufactured uh, um, master cylinder that I pulled out. Uh, and I'm actually, I really dislike uh, remanufactured parts. So if you're trying to replace an alternator starter on your car, uh, you know, master son or whatever, uh, don't buy remanufactured stuff. It's the worst thing you can do, actually. And the crazy thing is that the owner just literally acquired this car maybe like a month ago. So that master cylinder was already brand new. It's actually from O'Reilly. Um, but I, I don't know. I haven't talked to the owner much. I don't think he was the one replaced, who replaced it. Uh, I think someone else before him replaced that master cylinder. And... Uh, and he told me the owner told me that everything was fine at first when he got the car there was no problems and then all of a sudden just started you know leaking uh not leaking but just like the the pedal went all the way to the floor and there was no visible leaks or anything um so right now everything is good but there's also another problem that i uh, noticed today and it's pretty crazy but first let me show you this master cylinder all right there you guys have it this is the uh, remanufactured master cylinder okay um and uh this is the one that i actually pulled off of the car um i don't know some numbers here this plastic bag just never wants to stay in place it always wants to fly off stay here so yeah no fluid came out from this and no fluid from this port the only uh only this port had fluid coming out so yeah um this is literally the worst junk uh so yeah guys make sure if you have 
uh, problem with any of their parts is never buy remanufactured stuff buy brand new one um, and yeah this is not good you know um, yeah I really don't know how the owner was driving it like that um, but yeah and just so you guys know that I'm not BSing that this is original Mercedes part is I'll show you right now um, if you look closely look at this amazing star you see the star you follow the star okay so and also I'm gonna make it nice for the owner I'm gonna um, go ahead and uh, paint this thing up uh, nicely so it never rusts um, and another thing when I was replacing there's some tips when I was replacing this master cylinder I put um, I had literally like rags here I had like towels and everything because you don't want the brake fluid to actually go ahead like you know and spill everywhere it's really bad for the paint you never want to do that a lot of people don't understand and then they have rust underneath because paint uh, like uh, brick fluid eats paint it's not a good thing so whenever you work on a master cylinder or something make sure you have a lot of rags and ma make sure that you have a lot of like water somewhere nearby so you can just if anything happens you just pour it that's what I did actually as soon as I was done replacing here everything I took everything all the paper towels out and I just sprayed everything with water here so everything is nice right now as you can see on the bottom there's some rust right there that's from you know all these years just because someone at some point in this car's life um, just wasn't wasn't careful enough you know and just spilled brake fluid or whatever and never came back never cleaned anything that's a really bad thing guys okay but now you can see the fluid is uh, is uh, pretty good um, and yeah so the master cylinder is done everything is bled everything is good but today I came out and I got shocked Okay. I see the wheel and you see this stuff it's not from rain but look at this you see this this is dry 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 but then there's like a trail that started right there and then I look in there and the whole wheel is just wet so and what I noticed is somebody changed the brake caliper on this side and it's brand new and it's leaking okay so I'm gonna pull this wheel off right now I'm gonna find out what kind of brake caliper that is I'm really kind of upset because I test drove it and I did not expect that caliper to start leaking you know maybe that Mercedes master son is just so strong that that rebuilt caliper just couldn't hold on you know rebuilt Chinese caliper couldn't hold on uh, and couldn't uh, uh, you know it just got defeated by a Mercedes part you know so yeah I'm gonna pull this wheel off and we'll double check what's up other than that I'm doing a whole car inspection on this car um, just so I can let the owner know what's going on and what, what it needs all right just pulled the wheel off brake fluid who jeez look at this and this is a new caliper guys that is insane yeah guys so that's the story I already cleaned up this caliper and uh, let the owner know uh, that it's leaking it's not good so we'll see what we're gonna do about this but it's not good guys I mean I really yeah like I said I'm gonna repeat that again don't buy remanufactured parts never ever especially from your local parts stores they're all overpriced first of all they're junk and they don't even like they might give you like maybe a month of warranty you know and I told him that hey you know can you find out if you have a warranty on that master cylinder but uh, he's he told me that probably not because you know it's I believe that uh, the previous owner put that in and you know yeah but we just decided to go this route and just put the Mercedes part in there it works flawlessly you know but right now we just I discovered that this thing is all saturated and brake fluid right here on this side so now we have to fix this thing and it's crazy it's like brand new and it's not brand new but it's remanufactured but it's I don't know 
it's crazy i don't know how they re rebuild all these things i mean i've rebuilt these calipers before you know this is a bendix calipers actually i'm not a fan of bendix calipers by the way i like the ate but i've rebuilt the calipers before you know taking the pistons out changed the seals cleaned everything you know who knows maybe just they just do like half a s s job you know on all these rebuilds and they charge like a tons you know tons of money for these calipers you know and they're not even brand new they're remanufactured you know like come on so yeah some crazy things happening guys so yeah i'm gonna let the owner know and we'll see i'll redo a bunch of work today you guys as you guys saw the trailing arms uh trailing arm and i did uh you know axle and new it's got new differential fluid and everything so yeah it's it's pretty awesome guys all right i cleaned it up and let me show you where it's leaking from i hope you can see you see the saturation fluid and it's just dripping down right here so this seam is leaking right here and it's literally just going down there who knows it could have some more leaks i don't know but this is what i'm seeing you know and because of the gravity it just leaks but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to actually tighten these guys it might actually help who knows but i'll try to do that all right guys so i did try to uh tighten those bolts but it did not work actually they were all tight so it's probably those seals in between two caliper halves that are bad or something i mean uh, it's 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 leaking guys so it's 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 horrible you know don't buy remanufactured parts remember that remember that for life all right guys that's it for this video thank you so much for stopping by and i'll see you in the next one subscribe and like the video